Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini Priyadarshini Megur, also known as Avi, and I'm a PhD student in the field of biology. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Eucerin Urea Repair Lotions and there are different types of them but today's video we are going to be talking about a particular lotion which has 10 percent urea what you can expect in my videos is that i actually give a detailed description about different ingredients present in a particular lotion and i tell you if you really have to use it and what skin type of people can actually use it so when i am talking about the skin of color people my standards are quite high to even choose a particular lotion or else a cream because skin of color people have more melanocytes present on their skin and it is very very necessary for taking care of the melanin production on our skin or else it can lead to hyperpigmentation whereas for the Caucasian skin type people I look for the creams or the lotions which are necessary to rebuild your skin barrier and to reduce the signs of aging which is the fine lines and also wrinkles all right so jumping to the product so Eucerin Urea Repair Plus Lotion with 10% urea has natural moisturizing factor and ceramides in it which is like a plus because I love ceramides in any skincare product and this formula is made specially for the itchy flaky skin that you can actually observe when you live in a very cold weather so they claim that if you apply this cream and you have an itchy dry skin then it will relieve the pain in just 48 hours so I was just going through the ingredients and I was absolutely loving the formulation the first ingredient in this uh, lotion is uh, water which means that it is not a thick consistency so everything will get absorbed easily and you will not feel like a fatty layer on your skin and the second ingredient is urea which is in 10 percent and urea is a humectant humectants are actually the water magnets which sits on your skin and helps to give water to the top layer of your skin that is epidermis basically if there is a high amount of humectant which in this cream is first the urea and then comes the glycerin so when you have a high amount of humectant you need to make sure that you have adequate amount of water if you live in a dry place which doesn't have high amount of humidity so the humectant cannot get the water from the surrounding so it starts to draw out water from the deep layers of your skin which can lead to more dryness of the skin then there is isopropyl sterate which is a emollient so what does the emollient does so when the humectant has hold the water and it is penetrating it to the skin the emollient makes a shield so that the penetrated water doesn't get lost by the skin and it stays in the skin so that your skin can be more hydrated the formulation is pretty nice and till now I'm loving it and plus it doesn't have fragrance which I absolutely love about any cream because the major cause of contact dermatitis is due to fragrance and I don't want all my viewers who are whosoever is watching my video to have any sort of reaction to whatever cream I suggest so then there is sodium lactate and sodium lactate is a salt derived from lactic acid so basically it plays a major role as an antioxidant and also for the exfoliation purpose so when you have a dry skin there is a stacked layer on the top of your epidermis which has dead skin so you want to remove that so that the different ingredients in your lotion or else cream can penetrate well and help you to have a better skin barrier this is what sodium lactate is doing and there is also lactic acid in a very lesser percentage so yes it is acting as a powerful exfoliators and also helping different ingredients to penetrate well so there is a shea butter and uh, yeah that is also acting as emollient best part about high amount of emollient is that you won't lose water the water will stay on your skin and it will be more hydrated so basically this formulation is made for the hydration purpose and then there are different amino acids which play a very important role in scavenging the free radicals and helping your skin to have a youthful appearance then there is citral alcohol so when you read that there is an alcohol then you panic no it is actually a fatty alcohol so when you see any cream with a denatured alcohol written on it then you need to avoid it because it's just not good for any skin type so if you see citral alcohol or citrile alcohol so these all are fatty alcohol which acts as a shield like an emollient then there is ceramides and ceramides uh, over here is the ceramide 3 which is ceramide NP so the role played by ceramides is that it helps to hold 
two cells together. So cells are holding together with the lipid and cholesterol bonds and these play a major role in having a healthy skin barrier. So ceramides are the lipids which actually help the cells of the skin to be attached to each other and that is how they play a very important role. So ceramides can be active if you have a pump like a bottle and if you have like a screw cap like bottle that Cerave has, then the ceramides cannot be stable. It's very tricky to do a formulation with ceramides. Yeah, over here, the ceramides is in a pump bottle and which is really good because they are stable and they can work well into your skin. So talking about different amino acids present in the formulation, the first one is histidine, which is actually helping to remove the hydroxyl radical and it is scavenging it because it is a potent scavenger and it's scavenging out the hydroxyl radical which is helping to have a healthy skin barrier and also helps for the hydration purpose and the next one is alanine which is also an amino acid and it helps to smooth the skin and calm it down and helps to have a healthy maintained hydration all over your skin then there is lysine which boosts the collagen production on your skin and collagen are very necessary to have a rigid and healthy looking skin if there is less amount of collagen then you can show the signs of aging so then is a serine which is also a very essential amino acid which helps to retain the moisture and also have a hydrated skin so basically these amino acids are playing like antioxidants uh, like scavenging out the different uh, radicals from your skin and helping it to maintain hydration so the main purpose of this uh, lotion is to give you hydration and i would suggest just to use it on the body not on the face because looking at the formulation, I believe that it is very sticky. The, so the natural moisturizing factor that they talk in this cream is nothing else but the different amino acids and also the different emollients that helps to have a healthier skin barrier and not letting the external sources like free radicals to come up and uh, destroy the cells as well as their uh, metabolism. So it is very necessary to incorporate such cream which has high amount of amino acids as well as high amount of emollients which help to retain the moisture on your skin. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you can see what is the next video I am going to be sharing with you. So till then take care and bye.